step towards a safer L.A. The Sheriff's Department announced today major drops in crime during 2017. People in Compton told KKL9's Greg Mills they feel much safer in their city. Promising news to end the year. In Los Angeles County, scenes like this are not happening as much. 3,600 fewer violent crimes and property crimes this year compared to last year. I do feel safe in the city. I do. Wanda Washington lives in Compton. The Sheriff's Department says this area is much safer. Gang shootings are down 40 percent. Gang murders down 27 percent. We would hear drive-bys like every night, and now we don't. Like it's graffiti has gone down as well, so pretty thankful. The Toro <laughs> sisters have lived here most of their lives. Well, William Latham, Compton through and through. The sheriff's in Compton is the best thing that ever happened in Compton. With the sheriff's here, people are starting to recognize that they want a good quality of life and they're not afraid to come forward. Yes, people are talking, no longer keeping quiet, which kept some bad people on the street instead of in jail. And the sheriff's department says they're getting a lot more federal help in fighting gang problems. I was looking at some old headlines, LA Daily News from just a few years ago. Compton, the most dangerous place for homicides in LA County. Nowadays, folks that we talked to said, this place feels very, very safe. I definitely agree. Bobby Galvan knows. He served eight years in prison this time, got out in April. That was my way of hustling and surviving on the streets, stealing, hustling, and gangbanging. Now he's married, has a daughter, and has a job. Well, the reason they were, were murdering and out there gangbanging was because nobody wanted to give you that second chance. You know, now that there's programs like Homeboy Industry, they're looking to change their lives. And fewer shootings and murders are changing Compton. It's changed a lot. Yeah. For the better? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Way better, way better, way better. It's good. In Compton, Greg Mills, KCAL 9 News.